Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. This is Simple Logo Animation Season 1 Episode 3. So today, we are going to create this. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition by clicking here. Let's call this flip text animation. I am using 1920 by 1080, at 30 frames per seconds. Now create a new solid for our background. I am using this color for the background, but you can go with any color. Now create another solid with the same color, but some darker shade. Let's call this line, because we are going to use it as lines. Change its color to darker shade of previous color. Perfect. Now we are creating lines on this background. Go to effects, and search for Venetian blinds effect. We are going to use effect under transition. Not animation preset. Add this effect to the line layer. Now change transition completion to 20%. And direction to 45 degrees to create these lines. You can always play with the settings if you want. But for this tutorial, I am going with the width of 20. And you will get the similar background as I have. Now we are going to draw a mask on this line layer. These all are your tools. Click and hold the right mouse button on this rectangle mask tool, and select ellipse tool from the drop down. And start drawing the ellipse on this line layer. Something like this. Now select your line layer again, and press F to open feather. And change the feather value to 200 pixels. In case you want to change the size of this mask, double click on it, and it will give you this option to transform the size of this mask. Press Ctrl and Shift to scale it equally. To release this transform option, double click on it again. In case you don't see this mask line here, you can always click on this icon to change the visibility of the shape mask. Cool. Now, it's time to add your text to this composition. Create your text in the center of this composition. You can use any font you want. I am using light lime color for this text. This is the same green color, but with a brighter shade. Let's change the quality to full. Don't know who changed this. Now, let's animate our text. I want my text to start animating from 1 seconds. Now go to the effect and search for the 3D flip in rotate x effect. Add this effect onto your text layer. And your text will start animating where you set the starting location. Cool. Let's ramp preview this and see if you are happy with the animation speed. In case you don't like this speed of this animation, select your text layer, and press U to open keyframes. Drag the end keyframe to the left to increase the speed. Select your both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Let's trim out our comp playback timing to see the text animation only. Press N to set the end marking. Ram preview again, and you will see your text animating. You can always change the speed of animation by dragging these keyframes. This speed looks nice to me. I am going with it. You are always free to add your own type of speed. I am just showing you the way, destination is your. Now, let's add your logo into the composition. You can always use text if you want. The process is the same for both text and logos. Add your logo above all layers. You can always change the size of your logo by pressing S on your keyboard. 
This is the important part. Right click on the logo, and pre-compose it. Let's call this logo. Also, make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition, else animation won't work properly. You can hide this logo comp because we don't need to show it. Now, select your text layer, go to effects and search for card wipe effect. Add this card wipe effect onto your text layer. And change few setting as I am showing. Change back layer to your logo comp layer. Now, if you change the transition completion to 100%, you can see this kind of animation. Let's make it perfect. I mean good, nothing is perfect in this world. Change rows to 50, and columns to 50 as well. Now you can see more amount of the sliding cards in our animation. Now change the flip axis to random. And also flip direction to random as well. In the field order, you will see a bunch of these options. But I am going to try bottom to top. Here you can see the similar animation. Let's keyframe this to animate our logo. Go to around 4 seconds, and add a keyframe to transition completion. Now go to the 5 seconds and change transition completion to 100%. Here you will see your logo is animating with the text layer. Now the final step is to animate our camera to make our scene look more dynamic. In the camera system, change camera position to corner pins. After selecting this option, you will see these corner pins at the corner of your video frame. We are going to use these pins to animate our camera. Open corner pins option to animate these pins. I want my camera animation to start from the beginning, so go to the first frame. And add a keyframe on upper left corner pin. Now drag this pin to something like here. Now go to the 5 seconds and switch back the position of the pin where it was before. In this case, it was at zero. Change both value to zero. Now our animation is complete. Now the last step. I am going to add a hard drop shadow to my text and logo. Select your text layer and right click on it. Go to layers and select drop shadow from there. Now change few setting quickly to make it look good. Expand drop shadow, and change size to zero. Change the opacity to 30%. And also, change the distance to 10. And you will see some nice looking shadow in your text, and it will automatically apply onto the logo as well. Ram preview this, and you will see your animation. In case you want to change your logo, open your logo comp, and replace your logo. It will automatically apply the same effect on your second logo. So, we did this again. Don't forget to download the project file, audio and font from the link in the description. In the next tutorial we will create this. Hello ladies. Hey boy. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming tutorials. Have a nice day.